Few people know the political landscape of New Hampshire better than John Sununu. He represented the state in the House and the Senate for a total of 12 years. His father was governor of New Hampshire and also was White House chief of staff under President George H.W. Bush. John Sununu is now a Bloomberg contributing editor. He is up at the Dartmouth College campus in Hanover, New Hampshire this morning, site of last night's Washington Post Bloomberg presidential debate. John, what do you think? Who stood out for you? What made the most sense? Well, look, it was a, a good format. I, I think the way it was set up with the participants across the table from one another, a little bit more engagement, and obviously Bloomberg had the focus on the economy, which enabled people to scratch the surface. Herman Cain, he's moved up a little in the polls. His plan really came under a lot more scrutiny than it has in the, uh, the past, his 999 plan on, uh, on tax reform. Uh, Mitt Romney, the other front runner, uh, drew a lot of questions from the other candidates. Look, it was a chance for them to try to define themselves. Uh, I think some of the candidates, uh, uh, like Rick Perry and uh, Rick Santorum, found a little bit of uh, difficulty getting in and getting focused on a specific economic plan. Uh, you know, for the others, it's a, it's a chance to continue to define their campaigns uh, in, in an important early primary state. Uh, John, 999 became a refrain, not just for Herman Cain, but for just about every candidate last night, whether they were making jokes about his plan, calling it the price of a pizza or something else. Does that, how much of an edge does that give Herman Cain? It sounds like an awful lot of free advertising. It, it, it certainly is, but it's a double-edged sword. Uh, I think there's always value to having a, a clear, specific, well, even idea. straightforward uh, economic plan or package, and especially when it comes to tax reform, which is a really a driving issue. It's important to the economy. I think it resonates with voters. The other side uh, of the coin, so to speak, is that he's imposing a national sales tax. And that's a tough sell. It's certainly a tough sell in a state like New Hampshire, but it's a tough sell uh, across the country for people that have looked at our tax system to say we're going to impose a sales tax, lower income taxes, and hope that Congress doesn't just take advantage of the new source of funds and, and raise spending in the long run. So it cuts both ways. But it certainly doesn't hurt the, the Kane campaign to get that kind of focus. John, when you were in the Senate, you were very constructive in your proposals. You, uh, you called for tighter regulation of Fannie and Freddie, for example. You were opposed to technology and Internet taxes. Last night, what we heard from most everybody was throw everything out and let's start afresh. Do people think that's realistic, whether they're delegates who are going to pick the nominee or the voters out there thinking to themselves, do I like any one of these guys? Well, look, I think on the tax code, uh, I think there are opportunities to certainly reform, restructure the tax code, get rid of the complexity and, and lower the overall rate uh, for corporations, because we have the highest corporate tax rate in the world, and for individuals. Uh, you could call that starting fresh. I mean, we had a, a significant tax reform in 1986. It can be done. But there's no question it's politically very challenging, and it's probably the kind of thing that has to attract bipartisan support. And you saw some of the candidates coming back to uh, the question of leadership and their ability to work with people on both sides of the aisle. Uh, and that's always something that's going to be attractive uh, in, in the leader of the United States. John, as many of our viewers already know, you know New Hampshire politics about as well as anyone uh, will ever know New Hampshire politics. The state holds that key first presidential primary. Did you hear anything last night that in your mind gives any one of these candidates the edge in New Hampshire? There is no question that uh, Mitt Romney has had an advantage in New Hampshire uh, being governor uh, next door in Massachusetts. People feel that they know him uh, a little better, uh, a little more deeply than the other candidates. A second, he's campaigned here before in 2008, and, and it helps to have an organization. It helps to have put activists on the ground, and it helps to have done all the retail politicking, person to person and town to town, that you have to do to be successful even in a presidential campaign in New Hampshire. Uh, so, uh, it, look, I, I think New Hampshire is, at the end of the day, a retail uh, politics state. All of these candidates know it. Uh, Herman Cain, Michelle Bachman, Rick Santorum, Newt Gingrich, they've spent a tremendous amount of time in New Hampshire. John, great to see you this morning, and thank you for being with us. Our contributing editor, former senator for New Hampshire.